Welcome to The Pitch, the meanest and keenest business show on television. I guess a unique show where we will give one business entrepreneur to 5 crore rupee funding so that he can complete his business idea. From the country, there are applications from the country. There was a rigorous screening process. After one elevator pitch, our judges were so impressed that not only 12 contestants were chosen. Each contestant has a business idea, but that idea will only get you this far. The contestants will be put through tasks given to them by 10 different business icons to test their business skills. You pass the tasks, you stay in the game and get that much closer to that 5 crore funding. Our business icons have created more than just successful businesses. They have created empires. Venture capitalists, entrepreneurs, business gurus, we will meet them all. And they will put our 12 contestants through specially tailored tasks every week. So let's meet the future of Indian business, our 12 contestants. Hi, my name is Akshay Chogani, 24 years old. I have done my B.Tech in Computing and Business Application. The whole concept of backpacking as such came to me while I was backpacking myself in Rishikesh. And just sitting around with a few backpackers, I realized that there's no specific company in India to cater to such a big market. And that's when we started off with Indian Backpacker. This is the pitch and IndianBackpacker.com is a one-stop shop. All your backpacking needs in India. Hi, my name is Shreyas. I'm 27 years old. I'm an engineer MBA and I run a company called Level 10 Comics. This is what I do for a living. Level 10 Comics is a visual illustration studio based out of Bangalore. We do outsourced artwork for media companies across the globe and we publish a monthly comic magazine called Comic Jump. This is the pitch and this is my story. Hi, I'm Abhinav Mehra. I'm 21 years old. I'm studying in Narsimonji College. We make customized hand-painted designer shoes based around any theme that you like. You could either have a design which is popular already on the website or you could come up with a theme that you want a shoe to be based around. It could be a one-of-a-kind shoe which will never be repeated again. If you dare to be different, Fizzy Goblet is the brand for you. Fizzy Goblet started off uh, from a friend of mine, Lakshita Govil. She wanted to have designer shoes for herself and since they were too expensive, she bought a pair and painted on it herself. It was appreciated by everyone and that's where the brand was born from. This this is the pitch and these shoes should be yours. My name is Valerie Rajitsky. I am from the US. I was did my education there at Stanford University and was working in California for a few years before moving to India. And after a few years of working here for another technology startup, founded Zipdial. Zipdial is the world's only mobile marketing platform for the entire mass market because Zipdial is based on missed calls. This is the pitch and Zipdial is here to serve every mobile phone user in the world. I am Ankit Thambati and I'm here to pitch for Chinicum. Chinicum is India's first real-time disease management technology for diabetes and lifestyle. At Chinicum, we have integrated web and mobile technology and a 24 by 7 monitoring center enabling a virtual clinic in a subscriber's mobile phone. So this is the pitch for a healthier India, a robust economy and a wealthier nation with Chinicum. I'm Kirtana Ramarapu, Executive Director for Kinder Dance India. Kinder Dance is a unique developmental dance, gymnastics, acrobatics, and a fitness movement program which develops motor skill development for young children, boys and girls, between the age two years to 12 years. This is the pitch, and it's all about education through movement. Hi, I'm Kunal Verma, and I'm pitching for my company, Aspirare Ventures. At Aspirare Ventures, uh, we create and deliver skill-based learning programs and employability solutions. And our vision is to be the enabler of skill development and employment for a million youth across the country. This is the pitch, and I'm here to win. 
Hi, I am Saurabh Kanpal and I am pitching for Red Force Labs. Aaj ki date mein there are viruses, there are malwares which are existing which can empty your whole online banking account within a fraction of a second. And that's what my company Red Force Labs has come up with a full-fledged cyber security product from India which is called Digital ID which is for online banking and financial transactions jiske baad ab koi bhi transaction, koi bhi e-commerce ki activity insecure nahi rahegi. So this is the pitch and Red Force Labs promises that all internet transaction will be secure. Hi, I am Tushar and I am here to represent Lab1 Inc. We manufacture ESR2010 which is a blood testing device. If you go to any lab where this blood test is done manually, there are a lot of discrepancies will come in the results. But with my machine, these discrepancies will vanish and of course your treatment will be on dot. This is the pitch and I want to make sure that everybody in this country get the best results possible for their blood test. My name is Amit Gupta. I represent Azure Software Private Limited. The product is called Heartthrob. It's a digital multi-factor measurement instrument which measures five parameters. Basically three lead ECG, blood pressure, pulse rate, body temperature and phonocardiogram. This is a pitch and Heartthrob is your right to wellness and health. Hi, I am Alok Pandey, founder of APD Innovation Ventures and I am here to pitch for the world's first self-cleaning toilet apparatus. The toilet pot is placed inside a cabinet structure. The moment the user comes in, the pot comes out. It cleans itself every time the user walks away. So A, the pot is actually hidden. B, the toilet cleans itself continuously. And C, the human part, the manual cleaning effort is being eliminated. This is the pitch. And I am here to change the sanitation landscape once and for all. See it. Hi, my name is Ignatius Arvind Narona. My product is Moziquit Mosquito Trap. It is to attract, trap, and kill the only female mosquitoes to eliminate multiplication of mosquitoes. As an outcome, I got a company, Leovin Solutions Private Limited. It is a startup company, and that is to manufacture and market Moziquit Mosquito Trap. This is the pitch, and I am confident of winning in this contest. So let's meet the business icon who will give our contestants their first task. Today we are going to meet our first business icon, the group general manager and country head of the HSBC Group in India, who is one of the best known bankers in the country. I'd like to ask you a question, straight up. Yes, sir. Do you have any idea why banking is one of the best known bankers in the country? I'd like to ask you a question, straight up. Why banking for you? Me? Yes. It was pretty clear that uh, a career in, say, marketing, mm -hmm. uh, to join any one of the large multinationals at the time, which were the sort of preferred marketing organizations, was really not an option. Because, not an option. Not an option. Why would that be? They believed that uh, sending women out, and probably rightly, into uh, the markets, issues around that, there was issues around security, and I think that remained a challenge. And I think many of us who flipped into business ended up choosing the world of finance and banking because as an environment, it didn't bring some of these challenges. So there has been a great uh, journey with academia. So how would you, uh, would you agree or disagree with the theme of, you watch movies I hope, of Three Idiots? I think education in my case was very important because uh, of the confidence it gave me to be able to stand up with the confidence of knowing that I was at least as educated. But I think there is a big danger in our country that uh, we pursue degrees and so I had a PhD, what a waste. So the ideal would be to be able to figure out what you want to do but education then provides you a broad base yes. to be able to get there yes. rather than the pursuit of the degree itself. Well, uh, you, you're now familiar with the format of the show and you were about to give these people a task. So there would be some advice that you'd like to give them. You can't achieve everything on your own. So the brightest people sometimes fail because they have a great idea or they have great degrees, but at the end of the, the day, they lack a very fundamental quality, which I will broadly call EQ, okay. the emotional quotient. Right. The ability to recognize that you aren't everything, so you need three or four people around you who can fill the gaps. Within that, while you know I'm a firm believer in teamwork, you also need a leader. You need a leader. And the team that will work the best is one that has a natural leader and a good team environment. You know, when we 
we uh, cast for films. There are a lot of auditions and people come in and you know we're looking for the right man for the right role. And more often than not, even before an actor walks into a room and starts doing his lines, you somehow get a feeling that you found your man. Is it easy in business to pick out a leader? Well, that's uh, why we, we do interviews. Uh, danger is also that you have someone that's a good actor and is able to play to the gallery and scores mm. on that. So you have to be able to and see through that And then he has nothing to well. show for it after a while. Which, which is a danger. Then we're in trouble. Yeah. But I think that first impact, meeting, uh, presentation, stage presence, uh, content, is all very important. And that's the purpose of the show because I think that we've picked people, uh, shortlisted these 12, because of their pitch, their presentation, and the way they, they communicated it to us. And maybe uh, they, they could have been good actors for all we know, but we have 10 icons like you would put them through 10 tasks yeah. in the process of finding our winner. Yeah. I think they are anxious and let's go and give them their task. Yeah. Let's go. Yeah. Yeah. We want to have a relook at how good you actually are at making a business plan. In today's task, you will be meeting three such people who actually wanted to stand where you are standing today.